Let's go to Vance Ginn right now, the chief of White House budget office economist under President Trump uh, joins us right now. Um, Vance, good to have you right now. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering, let's say the Federal Reserve does what it's expected to do tomorrow, raises interest rates three quarters of a point. At the rate they're going, we might have a federal funds rate probably in the three and a half percent neck of the woods. The problem is we have inflation running three times that level. Um, so normally to get it under control, the Federal Reserve has to get that rate up to kind of that rate, the inflation rate. Now, obviously, by increasing rates at the, at the pace it, it's considering, um, they don't have to go that high. Things will slow down. But what, what do you see happening? Well, it's a pleasure to be with you, and I, I think you're right on that you really need the interest rates to go up at, a, at a, an aggressive rate. I hope that they're actually more aggressive than what they've been planning in the markets of about a 75 basis point increase. And if you look at what was just talked about with China, when you look at the woke policies that the Federal Reserve has been putting in place, uh, and you look at the destruction that they've caused in the last year plus, we really need the Fed to start tightening and to go by more of a monetary base rule compared to all this discretion that's got us in the place now with massive inflation and a slow economy, really stagflation. You know, um, I, I know that now a lot of people are going back in time and, and saying, all right, the Federal Reserve botched it when it had a chance under Jerome Powell to deal with this inflation problem long before it was a problem. And the irony was he was in the process of hiking interest rates. That looked a little too soon, too fast. And he abandoned that quest in retrospect. Do you think he should have continued? Well, I think the dynamics had changed in the economy with COVID and everything else. Right, so a right. lot of that, those rate hikes were before then, right? Um, but given what's happening now, since COVID and Congress ran up the national debt by another $6 trillion in two years, you had too much money chasing too few goods. And this is the situation that we're in. You add in Biden's regulatory climate to where no one wants to produce more, and we're in the situation that we're in now. What we really need are the Fed to roll back, have quantitative tightening uh, for the demand side, but then expand the pro-growth policies on the supply side, cut taxes, cut spending, that sort of thing from the government level, and that would allow for us to unleash the economic potential of the American economy. I did get, get a sense, Vance, that the Fed is hell-bent determined now uh, to become Paul Volcker, to, to raise mm. interest rates aggressively. I don't know if it's going to be a full percentage point, likely three-quarters of a percentage point, but, but to hammer out inflation and, and be damned the collateral damage to the economy, hoping that a soft landing could still be sustained. Do you, do you see that in their thinking? That does seem to be the case, Neil. I mean, when you look at where we're at with 9% inflation, um, you look at a lot of the other indicators. On Thursday, we're going to get the second quarter GDP number that's probably also going to be negative. So we'll have two consecutive quarters of negative real GDP. But when you think about how many millions of Americans are getting crushed with this high level of inflation, their savings, their incomes, and now we're seeing job growth also slowing. Household sector was actually negative the last two months. These are all indications that the economy is weakening. And it's a, it's a part of having an inflated economy for way too long by this Fed. So they've got to start to reel it back. And ultimately, we need more pro-growth supply side policies that the Biden administration and Congress don't seem interested in. Well, watch closely, Vance. Very good seeing you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Vance. Again,